probably can't see it. There's a little post right there. But I now know that I can back up to that post. And once the bottom of that post is at the bottom of my mirror, because that's how I've got it set up, I know I'm probably a couple of feet away in the back. So let's just get that right at the back there. Okay, so I can say we're about a couple of feet away. And just to show you. There we are. So driving down the road with the mirrors that I've got on the vehicle, uh, especially on a highway, I can just see maybe the, the, the side of a car. Hey everyone, I'm going to talk about the reverse camera that I got. I uh, made the decision to buy a reverse camera uh, because from buying this uh, camper trailer and towing it back from Queensland, I live in New South Wales, I didn't find it difficult, but it was a bit difficult to actually see you just using the two rear vision mirrors on the side of the car because of the fact that I've put on this this canopy and so that kind of left my rear vision mirror inside null and void because all of it to look at is back of the box so from actually asking questions on some facebook groups traveling stuff you know caravans and all that sort of thing everyone kept saying safety dave safety dave now i looked into many other different ones but because of the fact that so many people said safety dave i just went basically that's what i ended up getting but and also, I'm not affiliated. Uh, this just seems to be working. I thought to give this information to you guys. Uh, hooking it up. Now, if someone like me can hook this up, I think just about anybody could. I think the most difficult part, not brain, not brain wise, but just labor intensive, because you've got to get underneath the chassis and run the wires. Uh, and you've got to run wires from basically the truck and it terminates right here, connects together with the trailer here and then again this wire has to be traversed underneath out of the way so it doesn't get caught up on anything okay that was the hardest part i found it a little bit difficult but again it's just a matter of doing it probably kind of the toughest part was actually drilling through all this metal to get these little brackets put into place also you have to also also i had to i had to run wires up through here up through this bit here I forced wires up in through here over to where I've got the uh, rear vision mirror and it attaches to my old rear vision mirror and it holds on there you kind of look at it and think oh is that gonna last but it's actually doing very very well now I've got my rear vision for the actual truck which I couldn't incorporate that into um, my rear vision for the trailer because of the fact that uh, the age it was if it was a year uh, uh, younger it would have been fine but I ended up getting this obviously this is surprisingly easy to use uh, for me and I'm no expert in when it comes to devices it just turns it on so it's turned on we can see the back the back of my garage um, to change the two cameras in the back it's just this next button there so that's going straight back so if I'm on the highway I'm looking straight back if I'm reversing back I can actually see how close I am coming to objects the M stands for mode so I've got bright I can change the bright on this so I can go a volume that's yeah surprisingly I can actually hear people in the back talking so uh, that was a nice surprise so there's a bonus there for me so that's bright you can go down with the brightness you can go up with the brightness you can see so it's overexposed there and you can go all the way underexposed so you can just play with that the next one is contrast it's more to do with how things um, it's more to do with how things appear less contrast I like more contrast but again do what you feel what you like then you've got color you can change the color there's all kinds of things you can play with here. You've got tent, you've got volume again. 
so that's mode and that's basically all there is to it okay so overall i'm really happy with the purchase that i made with this reverse camera i'm still going to go ahead and get the extendable mirrors on the sides here uh because i just i just cannot see much more than just down the straight down the side of my truck and the trailer uh, something has to be probably 200 meters behind me before I can actually start seeing them too far I don't like to be safe on the road that's my take on this camera so hopefully that helps anybody with some information who's ever thinking about getting a camera until the next time see you later guys